All right, guys, here it is. It's gonna be a long one, but we're doing it. We are doing it. Final Fantasy X, one of my favorite, favorite, favorite games in the franchise. You know, some people give this game a bad rap. Other people think it's the best game out of the entire series. I think, story-wise, it is absolutely phenomenal. Gameplay-wise, it's top-notch. I just love everything about this game, except one thing which you will hear me complaining about, but I'm not going to bring that up yet. Uh, this is the HD remaster of Final Fantasy X and X-2, even though I'd like to think that X-2 doesn't really exist. There it is right in front of my face, so it does. Uh, we're probably going to play that too, but later. Like, way later, when I'm ready to subject myself to 40 hours of dress spheres and unit with guns. Um, when this game first came out, I was actually in the military. And I sat in my barracks room for like two months and I just played the ever-living crap out of this game with all my spare time. And I gotta say, it kind of got me through some really hard times uh, when I was down there. So that's really awesome, that thing. And that's probably why this game is one of my favorites because it really sticks with me. But this is, since this is the HD remaster, this is working off of the non-American version, the one with the Dark Aeons, and, um, we will be going after them, and, uh, it's gonna take some time to get to that point, but I am definitely going after the Dark Aeons, alright, so, let's do this, let's start it up, let's go, and everybody just... As soon as it's done loading, that is. I am going to talk through the dialogue because there is some funny things that I, some things that I think are really funny uh, about the game and the way the dialogue works. And you know, the subtitles are going to be up there, so you know, it's not like you guys can't read what they're saying. Um, and <laughs> I'm really really just gonna have fun with this LP. I'm not really trying to take it too seriously. This is not a tutorial by any means. I am probably going to miss some stuff. If I miss some stuff, feel, feel, feel free to throw me in the comments. But um, that is what it is. Like I said, I'm playing through this game. We're gonna have some fun. I'm gonna try and do some pretty uh, pretty fun stuff. And I'm gonna try and, uh, try and get through as much of this game without, you know, doing any hardcore grinding. That way to make things a little bit more interesting when we're fighting bosses and stuff. So, I gotta say, the soundtrack is excellent. This HD remaster makes it look so much better. Not like it didn't look bad in the first place, but I, I gotta say, it uh, it looks really good the way they did it. Square Enix is, they know what they're doing up there. They really do. I give this time to uh, give my my want to start LPing. I give a shout out to some of the guys that I like watching a lot. Um, you know, HC Bailey, um, that guy. Uh, the way he does his games, the way he puts everything out there, it just I love it. And uh, he's one of the guys that said, you know what? I want to do this. So. <laughs> After about two or three years of watching people play games online, I said, what, why, why am I not doing this? You know? I love gaming just as much as the next guy. And, uh... Why the heck not? <laughs> I'm gonna be playing them anyway. So, you guys might as well play them along with me. So, here we are. Final Fantasy X. <sighs> HD Remaster. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's get into it. Okay. Data transfer, if you want to do a data transfer, you can. I don't have any data to transfer. It's a brand new account, so we are good to go. We're going to use the standard spear grid for this because uh, I feel like it. All right. We have selected that. You cannot switch games in game. That's fine by me. I'm okay. Maybe one of these days we'll do another one. 
and uh, we'll use the extra spear grid. But uh, I could keep the original, but let's use the arranged. A little more, a little more oomph to it. Yeah, we're gonna play the arranged soundtrack. And we get to watch that all over again. Oh yeah. So I watch a lot of guys online. I watch a lot of NHL online. Um, that's something that I'm definitely interested in doing, but I'm gonna wait for the next game to come out. I, I didn't even pick up NHL 17 when it came out. And uh, I didn't pick up 16 either. Uh, just kind of like living vicariously through people online watching them play it. Um, the last NHL game I picked up was 15. So uh, when 18 comes out, I'm probably gonna pick that up and we're gonna do some GM modes and uh, we're gonna have some fun. Um, but <laughs> I gotta tell you, the bread and butter on this channel to get started, I absolutely love the Final Fantasy franchise and I'm going to play this one, I'm playing 7. Uh, we're gonna get to 15, I'm gonna let more of the uh, DLC come out uh, before I play 15 so that way I can just kind of link everything together in one shot instead of having to go back to it and back to it and back to it. Even though I think 15 was an excellent game. I blew through it very quickly, um, and uh, so I'm going to wait for a little more, a little more of the what Square Enix has planned for that universe before I uh, f go through and uh, do the LP on that one. Okay. Uh, other things that I'm thinking about doing: Fallout, Skyrim, um, a lot of different games, but uh, these are all going to take time, and I got to start with what made me love gaming so much to begin with, with the Final Fantasy franchise, and uh, amongst other things. So, here we are. Listen to my story. This may be our last chance. Really? I don't know. It, it might be your last chance, man. You're absolutely right. Yeah, pretty lively looking city there. I gotta say so myself. Oh my God, they're all coming. So for those of you who haven't played this game before, oop, drop the mic. Welcome to Zanarkin. And there is our main protagonist. And everybody loves him. All right, let's go. Anything back here? Like a potion hanging out back here or anything? No, uh, I guess not. Okay. It's like sitting outside of your little boat house thing. They're all like out there like, hey, hey, what's up? Can you sign this? No problem. Ah, here we go. <laughs> you will not be named Tedious on this playthrough, sir. Your name is going to be... Crybaby. That is correct, because you, sir, are a crybaby. <laughs> Alright. I do that every time I play through this game. Because... Alrighty. You'll see. You'll see. Me too. <laughs> Take it easy. All right. <laughs> Thanks for the autograph. No problem, buddy. You'll have All the right. Goals, okay? I sure will. All right. Can I have your autograph? Hey, baby. Of course. Good luck tonight. Nothing to worry about. Yeah, look at this guy. I'm trying to be a pimp. Oh, if I score a goal. I'll, uh, do this. That will mean it was for you, okay? <laughs> what seat? Uh, he's he's pimping. It's for the right! 
got it. All of his enduring fans. Well, gotta go. Cheer for me. Two, three. Teach us how to blitz. Hey, I, I got a game to play. Then teach us after. Maybe tonight. Um, no. we can't tonight. Wait, who are you? I mean, tomorrow. Creepy. Promise. <laughs> Promise. There we are. You want to get a crazy reaction out of somebody? Do that to somebody. Somebody says something, just just do that little little victory sign slash prayer thing that they do in this game, and they'll be, people will look at you like, "What? Dude, what are you nuts?" <laughs> Okay, so you are naturally a adolescent with some serious daddy issues, and there's your dad. Yep, that's him. Urgh. Look at him, he's all pouty faced. <laughs> yeah. I was in a coffee shop running away from home when I heard the news. Our hero, Jet, gone. Vanished into thin air. Yep. My dad must have been his biggest fan. I knew how sad he'd be. Heck, we all were that day. Oh. Zanar, I says to myself, what are you thinking? Zanar. I went running straight back home. We sat up talking about Jack Long. Yep. Nobody cares. Make way, make way. Hey, get out of my way. Get, get up. Through. Sorry. Get, 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 get up out of my way. Hey. I'm gonna be late. Yeah, come on, man. Don't make hey, me late. let go of me. Oh my God, all the people love me. I gotta say, this is one of the most epic opening scenes in the game. I'm just gonna be quiet for this one. Oh no, he fell. That's okay. It's a Final Fantasy game. As we all know, Final Fantasy games. It all survive falls of infinite height. H.E. Bailey told me that. Okay. 
So here we are, finally in some actual gameplay. And, uh, yeah. We are under attack. By what? We don't know. So let's keep going. Wait, hey, what's up, man? You're the dude with the red coat. What are you doing here? Yeah, what are you doing here? What are you talking about? Hey, you okay? You okay? You okay? Ah, the hell is So, if everybody's running that way, why are you going that way? Ooh. What's up, man? It begins. What? Don't cry. Oh, he's gonna cry. Sin. What did you just say? Oh. Oh. I guess you probably get moving. Oh, too late. Some final fantasy protagonist you are. Wait, ready, ready? Arn's a beast. Arn is probably one of my favorite characters in the entire franchise. You'll see why. Because he's Don't bother going after all just them. excellent. Cut the ones that matter and run. Ow. Yeah, get out of there. You you let's run towards the giant floating bubble of water in the sky that sounds like a really good idea you know the same one that's spawning monsters everywhere and let's just let's just go ahead and do that because that makes sense So this thing right here is your first sin spawn, and I will say it Get only casts town. Demi Some on you, so to die. there's not really much you can it can do to kill you, but that's okay because we have an overdrive, which is basically like your limit break in the game. Watch this, and then you gotta do this, and bam, there you go, kill. <laughs> All right. Okay, so now we just 
Go all out, speed on it. Wow. You got an overdrive too, so let's go ahead and use that. There we go. And bam! So yeah, it looks like he's not really doing a whole lot of damage just because he's not. Um <laughs> Look, Arn's regular attack <laughs> just did like just like a hundred less than his. Oh, hello. Well, we're in the kill. I'm not even gonna bother using the potion or anything. <laughs> if I wipe, I wipe. It's just casting Demi, it's not gonna kill me anyway. And anybody who's ever played a Final Fantasy game knows Demi takes off a percentage of your hit points. It does not actually attack. It cannot kill you. Ha! Right, I guess I'll heal up though. Or I could just kill it. And ready? There you go. Full hit points. Save it up. Okay. And there we go. All set. Let's go. All right. <laughs> running. We're running. What are you laughing at, old man? Lauren, let's get out of here. We are expected. Huh? Give me a break, man. Oh no, we're surrounding. Alright, so pay attention in this play where it says wings start to flicker. That's the one you want to hit. Because that's the one that's going to do an attack to actually do some damage to you. So you want to get rid of him. Alright. Because these things are just going to keep coming. Hmm. This could be bad. That. Knock it down. What? Trust me. You'll see. Okay. So now we got to knock this thing down. Go ahead and give this a few hits then. But this guy's wings are flickering back here, right? So we want to take care of that so we don't take any extra damage. Let's get him out of the way. Okay. Uh, you know what? We got enough hit points. Let's just knock this thing down. Ah. Uh. Well, it moved. That's a start. Kill. I love how he runs back into his fighting position just to get hit. <laughs> if he would have just stayed over there, he probably wouldn't have gotten hit.
Yeah, you gave it your best shot, buddy. Why are you talking to that thing, man? Who cares? This is it. This is your story. No, I don't want to go into the giant monster. It all begins here. No. Such a whiner. <laughs> I don't know who's worse. Him or or Van from Final Fantasy Twelve. I I, hey. I can't really figure it out, but Hey Why heck? into I started to feel lightheaded and then sleepy I think I had a dream a dream of being alone I wanted someone anyone beside me so I didn't have to feel alone anymore all right <laughs> huh? Oh no. Anybody there? Aurin! Hey! Yeah, it's kind of stupid. If you, if you wake up in a strange world and there's nobody around you and it looks like everything's destroyed, you probably don't want to yell too loud. Just saying. But, uh, I guess let's make our way to that ruined temple over there. Okay. Now, there is some stuff to grab around here. Swim around here, check this place out. Ooh, what's this? box nice all right <laughs> here we go pretty sure there's something else we can grab over here if my memory serves me correctly now it has been a while but like I said people I'm probably gonna miss people introduction to Albed Albed primers can help you decipher the strange Albed language okay and then whatever that says so since this is a new um, account, I don't have any of that. So uh, we're just gonna not do that. And uh, yeah, but if you do, this is like a second playthrough for you, so you've gotten a bunch of the Outbed Primers. 
what that will do will compile everything from your other save files and let you basically know how bad from the start um, which is pretty cool to actually like understand what they're saying throughout the course of the game without having to you know figure it out but of course naturally online there's a monogram and everything or anagram and all that and it's all figured out and uh, they already have it already set I'm not gonna bother saving I'm just gonna keep going so when I get into this place that's where we're gonna cut this off and then we're going to pick it up next time and we're gonna start off and we're going to uh, figure out what it is we're doing here so let's go ahead and knock this out here we got another high potion we're not gonna be using that for a while we're not gonna need to so here we go and ooh. bubbles and water are bad bubbles are bad oh no oh no oh no uh dude can't catch a break man guy's like as bad as those people in the infomercials like like how do, how, do, how do people in infomercials even survive you know it's just how bad everything goes for them just doing everyday things okay Fish monsters coming after me. So yeah, I'm gonna pull out my sword and I'm gonna kill these things. Now I'm gonna eat fish. Whoops. You're dead. You're dead. Much, much bigger fish. Yeah, I'm not. I'm trying to stay away from that. It didn't even eat it. It just killed it. Like, okay. Let's go after this thing now. Yeah, um, you're probably a little out of your league, dude. Um. Oh no. He only did 30 hit points, bro. Ugh. Uh, is there a run option? Nope, sure isn't. Oh well. <laughs> Looks like we're about to die. Wait, he's only taking off half of my hit points. Oh, I might survive. I'm just kidding, it's rigged. You're supposed to live through that. Alright. So, whoa, hey. Uh. Yeah. You better find somewhere to go fast, buddy. Uh oh. Yep, yep. You better, you better get out of here. Look around. Look around. Oh, there you go. Ooh. Ooh, no. right, conveniently placed door that leads to whatever this is. I had made it out of the frying pan into the freezer. Oh yeah, I bet it's cold in there, buddy. I thought I was gonna die in this place. All right. Well, let's go on. Okay. This seems like a pretty good spot to, uh, ready to get, get ready to uh, end this video here after this little cutscene
some, some pretty big boulders for you to be moving around, little guy. All right. Let's see here. Oh, dilapidated ruins. Fire. Underwater. And naturally, there's a safe spear. Probably some treasure, too. So let's go and save it up. And then we're going to end the video. And we'll be back to get into some actual gameplay. See, the real meat and potatoes of this game it doesn't happen until a little bit later. You got to get through the early tutorial stuff. And, uh, you know, once we get through that, we're going to be really, really running through this thing. All right. So, uh, Sneeze Miss Prime signing out. And uh, if you liked the video, give me a like, subscribe, the whole nine yards. And, uh, yeah, we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.